Hello, I'm going to be taking a look at MODOK for Marvel Crisis Protocol from Atomic Mass Games. So this is the miniature plus all the cards and relevant tokens you need to play them in Crisis Protocol. Let's have a look and see what you get inside the box. So we have a bag with the plastic parts. So our actual MODOK miniature, plus our paper components. Let's have a look at the miniature itself first. He's an unusual looking character, is Mr. Tarleton. Hyper intelligent, but unfortunately confined to a, uh, essentially a floating wheelchair. So he comes with a large, appears to be about 60 mil base. It was sculpted to resemble a street along with its own Coke can and beer bottle. So you can have litter around your streets, which is very important. The miniature itself comes on two sprues. So the large sprue contains Modoc's head, hair, majority of his seat and the little gas cloud that sits below him. And then his vestigial, shall we say, legs, his arms, the little rocket that sits into your gas cloud and the rear of his chair. So as you can see, he has a little jet coming out, keeping him hovering. The model itself looks relatively crisp. Can't see any real issues with seam lines on it. Yeah, it's a nice clean model. So paper wise, read this first. Read through the instructions before you attempt to build it. You'll need to clip it out, clean it up and glue it together. Not recommended for children under the age of 16. And here we have eight steps to build Modoc. So a fairly simple build, step by step. This one is probably one of the simplest I've seen. However, again, nowhere on this does it actually list any build parts. You're left finding these on the sprue. This is a simple build. Some of them are more complicated, but the sprues all contain numbers for each relevant part. So if it has a number six there and a number seven and a number five, it would have been just as easy to put them on here so you know what you're looking for rather than having to try and guess based on shape. But when you're finished, you'll have a little floating Moodock looking like that and you'll be ready to play. And when you want to play with them, you'll need the cards. So, what have we got? We have Modoc's counters. So it comes with a sheet of counters, including a very nice hydro one there. And these are generally objectives or specific to the character. He has three upgrade cards or event cards that you build into your deck and he comes with a extraction threat. It's level 20, so massive threat level. Alien ship crashes. Place three rubble piles as targets of opportunity and players score two VPs if they control um, during the cleanup phase. So you can pick up Cree power cores. So that's what these are. Um, from the rubble tokens by interacting with them. Character holding a core cannot perform more than one action and if they're holding it at the end of the turn they suffer one damage, I assume that is, if you do not make an attack that activation. Ooh. So, extraction threat level 20. Modoc comes with two un or sorry, three unaffiliated, so he doesn't appear to have an affiliation. Oh, shame. I would have liked to see him in Hydra, but 
what have we got? We have Aim Lackey. So you can spend three power to play this card. Choose another allied character. He may perform a move action as an additional action during the next activation of this round. Telling people what to do and when to do it. That's what I like to see from a evil genius. Recalibration Matrix. When an allied character is attacking or defending before the calculate success or failure step, Modoc may, or sorry, it may spend three power to play this card. The attacking and defending characters reroll all of their attack and defense dice. Very handy when you've fluffed a roll. And Psychic Fortress. Modoc may spend three power to play this card. Modoc gains cover. Allied characters gain cover within four of Modoc this round. So, incredibly handy. If you know you're going to be facing somebody particularly of a psychic bent, then body them all up around Modoc and walk forward in that psychic bubble. So Modoc's card himself. This is a two-sided card, so damaged and angry Modoc. And regular evil genius Modoc. He is, of course, George Tarleton. Um, 10 health, 5 threat level, and size 4, so he's quite expensive, quite large compared to some others. He does have a uh, defense of 2 against strikes, 3 against power, and uh, 3 against mind attacks. He has Sonic Blast in his Doomsday Chair, and his special powers are Bow to the Will of Mudok, Imbecile. All the world is a weapon to Mudok, and P-Brain, Mudok's genius is infinite. Which I have to say, I love the power names, they just scream like they're coming straight out of the comics. He also has a passive Sonic force field, so that's good. Wild attacks are changed to blanks when defending. Always on. Um, how does he decrease? Not so much when he drops to four. Yeah. Nothing particularly extravagant when he does hit that KO and flip over stage. So Modoc, George Tarleton, a um, whirling cavalcade of death in a floating chair and a psionic buffer for all of your aim, Hydra or other unaffiliated evil doers for Atomic Mass Games Marvel Crisis Protocol. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.